All right, free streaming services. And of course, you can't expect catalogs like Netflix, Hulu, or Disney Plus because they've been around for years, but you'd be surprised how good these free streaming services are and how far they've come in the recent days. So in this video, I'll share some of my favorite streaming services that are legal and free that you can watch for your heart's content. For example, you can watch shows like The Bachelorette, Skits Creek, or even How to Train Your Dragon, which is one of my favorite movies growing up. And the cool thing is these streaming services don't require you to sign up and use your credit card and that kind of stuff. And most of these are available on these streaming platforms for free and they're 100% legal and work on every platform there is. You know, iOS, Android, what have you. And also some of these streaming services are only available in the United States. So if you're outside, you're out of luck, but that's where you can use Smartlinks Proxy's VPN and then, you know, change the server and watch United States streaming services for free. Anyway, let's get started, shall we? The first movie streaming service that I'd recommend is IMDb TV. Well, this one came out a couple of years ago, but this has got all kinds of free movies and TV shows, and it's got its own website where users rank movies based on their own subjective opinion, instead of just, you know, Rotten Tomatoes, which is just critics spouting their nonsense. Well, IMDb TV doesn't have the biggest, you know, catalog of titles like Netflix or Disney Plus, this one does have new and highly rated movies that only tend to be on, you know, paid for streaming services. For example, big names like How to Train Your Dragon, Shit's Creek, Lost, 24, Mad Men, The Big Lebowski and such. Well, these aren't exactly. And there are only like two ads in it, although this could change as the service becomes more popular. As of now, IMDb TV is only available in the United States. You can use any VPN, you know, SmartDS proxy, hint hint, to change your location and watch it from anywhere, and it works fine. So if you're keen on that, do check out IMDb TV. <music> Moving on to the Roku channel. The Roku channel is an app where you can watch movies and TV shows on Roku related devices. Now I know what you're probably thinking. How can you watch Roku channel without a Roku you know, device? Well, you absolutely can. You can watch the Roku channel without access to a Roku device, but that may require you to sign up for a Roku.com account. So just simply open the Roku channel in any web browser or the official app. This gives you access to a broad selection of TV programs and movies. Moreover, you can open the Roku channel's live TV page in any web browser. More than 20 live TV channels can be found on the service. This page is dedicated to Roku's lineup of live TV, which includes news, sports, and other programming. Although you do need a SmartDS proxy VPN to set it to US. If you're living outside of the United States where Roku channel isn't available, you have to do this. And it's got titles ranging from the recent Bachelorette to classics like the Beverly Hillbillies and Bob the Builder, Thomas and Friends, Peppa Pig, and there's much more that you probably would entertain by. So if you're keen on that, check it out. Okay, the next one is Peacock TV. Well, you're probably wondering how on earth is this on the list? Well, for you know, paid version, you get to unlock a lot more features, but even without paying, you can actually watch most of its content with ads. There is a difference between Peacock free and paid. So here's a full breakdown of the cost for Peacock's three membership tiers. The free one, the ad supporter plan, allows users to access 13,000 hours of content. And for $5 a month, you can upgrade to unlock those other seasons, movies, series, and other installments and premium selections as well. For $10 a month, you can watch it all without ads, but the free plan has plenty to keep you entertained until you hit that wall. In simpler words, Peacock TV free tier will give you the first two seasons of The Office, the first three Harry Potter movies for free. The point is that the selection is really, really good. There's even a buzzy original like the Tina Fey produced Girls Fight Forever. Peacock also throws in a few channels in there in case you've got, you know, decision fatigue. With dedicated streams of The Tonight Show, Today, and yes, 24-7 Real Housewives fix for those who need it. Peacock TV is only available in the United States, so you can check out our old video if you want to know how to get it outside of the United States. And finally, for the anime fans out there, I know you're there, we've got Crunchyroll. Crunchyroll is a anime exclusive streaming service, well it's got other stuff too, but it's got a thousand TV shows and 30,000 episodes for you to watch at any time. Crunchyroll is normally free with ads, although it's worth pointing out that the free tier is low res and has good number of ads as well. And also you have to wait a week for the latest episode. If Crunchyroll is not available in your country, you can check out our old video on how to do that which will appear in the cards above. Oh, FYI, Sony recently bought Crunchyroll, so you might see it on your PlayStation if you own one. 
So it's available across all devices, including iOS, Android, Roku, Chromecast, Amazon Fire TV, and much more. Okay, now moving on to Tubi TV. Well, this one is quite popular and it's been around for a while and I've recommended it before as well, but we'll talk about the updates now. One of the best things about Tubi TV is the way it categorizes content as well as the usual genre list that you'll find with, you know, unique categories, like the most popular ones, the family movies, the thrillers and such. Moreover, Tubi TV doesn't force you to create an account and it's not only restricted to the United States like the other ones, so you can watch it without a VPN as well. Another thing is that you can easily access the Tubi streaming service on pretty much every device, be it your smartphone, computer, Amazon Fire TV, Apple TV, Roku, Xbox, and whatnot. I'm running out of breath, that's how many devices there are for Tubi TV. Talking about the collection, you'll watch up to 20,000 titles from their library, decent movies like Blades of Glory, Shriek and Terror, The Conjuring, Hell's Kitchen, what have you. All right, those are some of the best free streaming services that you can watch if you decide to cut the cable. I know it's not the perfect solution, but you can mix and match and combine some of these to make the best of it to choose your style. Because, you know, not everyone likes the same content, so you can mix and match the ones that you like and then take it from there. Anyway, I'm Vamzi, thanks for watching, and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of this content, subscribe and click on that bell icon. I'll see you in the next one.